In front of us is an example of the four functions that the chatbot can do, all from within the same UI. So here we have a regular query being answered as if it's ChatGPT. Here we have a business related question querying a Homozy database. Here we have a stock related question querying a Warren Buffett knowledge base. And finally, we have a entrepreneurial based question answering the question from a Richard Branson knowledge base. So all four, all in the same place, but intelligently routing to the relevant databases. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a hybrid custom knowledge chatbot that can not only answer user queries on your custom knowledge space, but can also answer and serve as a regular purpose chatbot, similar to ChatGPT by setting up a system that can intelligently route the queries based on what the user is needing to do. So if it's a question about your custom knowledge base, the query will go to the custom knowledge base. If it isn't related to your custom knowledge base, it will be routed to the ChatGPT API or GPT-4, whatever you want. So firstly, I'm gonna be breaking down how these systems work and how you're able to have multiple different data types attached to a bot and essentially send the queries to them only when it's relevant. So this is how you create really flexible and multi-purpose bots with tons of different data that's intelligent enough to know what the user's asking for and when. If you're new to the channel, my name is Liam Motley and I help entrepreneurs wrap their heads around AI by giving you simple and easy to understand tutorials breaking down the complex concepts down to their simplest form. And if you haven't already subscribed to my AI newsletter or joined my AI entrepreneurship discord, you can get those links in the description. So the example app that I'm gonna be using to illustrate how these systems work is called MBA GPT. And it's something that I whipped up for the purposes of this video that I thought you guys might find interesting and maybe give you some ideas about how you could actually apply this technology to your business and to your personal life. Now, the idea behind this app is to be able to connect multiple different data sources, or in this case, vector databases, filled with information. So in this case, I've taken Alex Homozzi, Warren Buffett, and Richard Branson, and I've found the content online from PDFs, etc., on all three of these guys so that I have a ton of information to sort of make up some kind of knowledge base for each of them. And then what I want to do is connect all three of the knowledge bases into the app and allow the app to essentially route the query depending on what the user is asking. So if I'm asking something about business, I've told it to route it to the Alex Amozzi database. So get all his information on how to scale online businesses, et cetera, and use that to answer the question. But if the user is asking about investing, then it's going to be routed to the Warren Buffett custom knowledge base and look for any similar things within the database there and bring that back and answer it. And then finally, anything related to entrepreneurship and the lifestyle side of things and, and who you wanna be as an entrepreneur is going to be relative to the Richard Branson side. So the key thing here is that the chatbot is going to be able to intelligently route the user's query to the database that has the information relevant to get that answer. So investing for Warren Buffett, business for Alex Modi, and entrepreneurship for Richard Branson. And the final nail in the coffin here is that if the query is not related to business, investing or entrepreneurship, it is then going to be routed to the ChatGPT API and treated as a regular question. So if you ask it something like, what color is the sky or what color is the sea? It's going to go, hmm, this isn't about investing. This isn't about business. This isn't about entrepreneurship. We're going to classify this as other and let's route that to the ChatGPT API and get an answer. So in this way, the chatbot and how you're able to use it is going to be super, super flexible and that anything that doesn't match what we have information on in the vector databases, can just be sent to the ChatGPT API and answered as a regular question. So that's a lot out of the way, but that's how these apps work. And I'm gonna jump in and show you an example of it now. So first things first, I needed to get some information on all of these guys in order to use to create a custom knowledge base that we can then query. So you can see on the left here, I've got a docs folder and it has Branson and it has a Buffett folder. Richard Branson, I found some stuff on the internet, all sorts of things. Most of these are actually not written by him, but in the case of Warren Buffett, we have some letters to investors that have been compiled all sorts of things in Berkshire Hathaway, really, really good stuff of all of his investment philosophy and, and how he likes to go about investing. So here's all the information. I have two PDFs on each of them. And then for Alex Amozzi, I've already done all of this sort of data collection and putting into a database. So if you haven't seen my Alex Amozzi 500 chatting to podcast video, where I essentially create an AI version of him, that's going to be available up here if you want to watch that. But essentially, I already have that Pine Vector database set up and ready to go with, I think it's 163 different podcasts of his put in there. So that I can just plug straight into this app and I don't actually need to ingest anything. To create the Buffett and Branson indexes, I just have this indexing.py file, which is essentially using a Langchain and it's going to be creating a, a Chroma DB out of each of them and saving it to this DB folder. So that's all done here. I can just run the script once and then it's going to save it and then I don't have to do it ever again. I can just load them each time instead of having to recreate them. And now into the app.py file, you can see where most of the magic is actually happening. So what we have set up here is actually called an intent classifier. Now, Langchain has a similar thing to this in terms of their tools, but this is sort of a, a straight to the point way of doing it without using all these libraries. You can essentially just use language models to, to set up your own intent classifier and have a little bit more control over it. So I prefer to use this setup currently, but 
what we have here is the xt.txt input. So the text input is on the chatbot when people will type something in. And when they submit it, this is what's going to be triggered. So this generate response function is up here, as in the Alex and Mozzie bot. So this is where all the magic is happening. As soon as the user's message comes in, we send it straight to this intent classifier function, which is here in our utils.py. Now this may look a little bit complex, but essentially all we're doing is using a open AI chat completion using the 3.5 turbo model. And we're essentially using the, the GPT 3.5 turbo to classify what the user is asking for. So here you can see it's using this prompt and it's actually replacing the prompt with what the user sent. So in our prompts file, we have the prompt here. Now this is what I'm pulling a classification prompt. Uh, we do a bit of role prompting here, et cetera, same sort of stuff, but the real magic is here where I say, your task is as follows. You will analyze user inputs and classify each input into four different categories. Four categories are business question, investing question, entrepreneur question, or other. If you can't tell what it is, say other. So here we have, if category is business question, output zero, investing question one, entrepreneur question two, other three, et cetera. So these are the three categories, Alex and Mozzie for business question, Buffett for investing question, and uh, Richard Branson for entrepreneur question. And other is just sending it to the ChatGPT API. So. Here we do a little bit of shot prompting, as I'm sure you're familiar with if you've watched my other videos. I generated all of these with ChatGPT. I just said, give me some examples of prompts that are related to business, da 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 and put it in this format. So this is essentially some examples of how it should deal with it and how it should output. And then we have user input and prompt. So that takes us back to here, which is where we're going to be taking the user prompt from what they've just sent in, put it into the intent classifier function, replace that prompt with what the prompt is. It might be, can you write me a plan about diversifying my portfolio? so that it's for an inflationary environment or something. So what this is going to do is send that prompt off with their sort of insertion. And then what we're going to get back is a number that we can then use going back to our app.py file up here and pass to the route by category function. So here it's going to the intent classifier returns the number that we get from the big prompt that we sent off. And that number is then going to be passed into this route by category function. So essentially, we figure out what category it is, and then we route them to different handlers. So these are handler functions up here, and each one of these handles essentially what the user query is and gives us back what we need for that specific, I guess, cut the knowledge base that we're sending it off to. So if it's related to business, it's going to be routed to this Homozi handler. It's going to query the Homozi database and give back a bunch of information from that database and etc. If it's related to investing, it's going to be sent to the Buffett handler. And if it's related to entrepreneurship, it's going to be sent to the Branson handler. And finally, the other handler is here. Now what happens after the handler functions have returned their information gets a little bit more messy, but I won't take you through that now. I'll just show you this in action and show you how we are actually routing to the correct vector database that we want to query and how this looks in action. So we can run streamlet, run app.py. So here we have the app running MBA GPT, chatting with multiple data sources. Now I've brought it up like this because I want you guys to watch the terminal carefully here, because when I put a query in it, it's going to take it through that intent classification process and it's going to print out where it's being sent to. So you can see for each of these handler functions, it's, it will print using the Buffett handler, print using the Branson handler, etc. So we're going to be able to see if this is working correctly. So how can I increase AOV from an e-commerce business and then bam, using the Homozi handler. So it's working correctly. Now we need to wait for it to get that information back and then create the answer since you need to generate it from the information it's pulling. So let's see what it says. And so here we can see we've gotten an answer back from the Homozi handler. It's actually referencing some of the different podcast episodes that it's being pulled from, which is helpful sometimes, helpful not. But this is an example of the Homozi handler being used correctly. And this time we can test out the Buffett handler by asking a question about investing. So we can say, how can I dollar cost over into the market? And here we have using the Buffett handler. So it's correctly identified it as a investing related question. Or we can even ask something more specific to Warren's uh, skill set on his own personal opinions. How do you evaluate a stock? Using the Buffett handler. And it's answering as Warren Buffett would. Ask yourself if the company is easily understandable, good solid history, da 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 da. All his regular stuff that came out of the letter to investors that have been put into the vector database that this is pulling from. And now I guess the final example that we can do is the entrepreneurial based question. So how can I live a fulfilling life as a friend? Using Branson Handler. To live a fulfilling life as an entrepreneur, you need to do what excites you and brings you joy, as Richard Branson suggests. Don't just think about the cost or speed of your business, but focus on creating something amazing and valuable. Da -da 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 -da. So 
This is all pulling from the correct databases when we query it. So the intent classifier system is working correctly. And then there's only one last thing to do, which is to ask it a generic question that isn't related to either of the databases or any of the databases, sorry. And we can say, what color is the ocean? And it says using other handler down the bottom. So we're correctly identifying it as a other based question. And here we have the ocean often absorbs blue dew, da da da, da reflects sunlight, da 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 da. So what we have here is a custom mods chatbot that can intelligently route queries to the relevant database so that it can get specific knowledge applied to the question. So we have Warren Buffett for investing, Alex Somozzi for business, and Richard Branson for entrepreneurial advice. All of these is essentially like sprinkles on top of ChatGPT because now any query that comes in that's regular can be sent to the ChatGPT API but we've augmented ChatGPT by giving it these different custom knowledge bases in different areas with the specific knowledge of the different greats in their respective fields. So I think it's really cool that you can do this and I hope you guys got something out of this. I'll be sharing this code if you want to steal it off my GitHub. You can check that out in the description, but I'm sure you guys have a bunch of interesting use cases for this kind of stuff within your own businesses. If you can get in touch with me as a consultant or get in touch with my development company, if you'd like to build something out with us, we do these sort of projects all the time. And I thought I'd give you guys an example so that you can visualize it and sort of get an idea of what's possible with these tools at the moment. So that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already signed up to my AI newsletter in the description, also my AI entrepreneurship discord, it's down there too. So if you want to watch any more of my videos, they'll be here, here, here in, in the next slide. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.